Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberkin Productions. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new History of the Dalek set 1. So let's jump into it. Starting off with the box, it has the same colour scheme as previous B&M sets, with the blue covering the majority of the box, with white or black for text. The style of the box is also the same, with a picture of the TARDIS and Gallifreyan text on different segments of the box. The Doctor Who logo is shown in the top left, History of the Daleks hashtag 1 at the bottom, and the Daleks 1963 on the bottom right in a red box. A large window covers the front of the box that spills over to the right side to get a better view of the Daleks. Also on the window is the limited edition sticker which I have always found to be pointless. The left and right sides of the box feature a picture of the TARDIS. The back features a brief description of the Dalek story and information about the original Dalek props. So give the video a pause if you want to give them a read. A bubble of text stating that these are the Daleks from the classic Doctor Who adventure and there's also some legal gobbledygook in the bottom right. The top has more repeated information apart from the added character options website URL and the bottom just features a ton of legal gobbledygook. The background display is of a corridor on Scaro from the Daleks. Now with the box out of the way, let's take a look at the Daleks. So here we have the Daleks and they look awesome. The Daleks are both re-releases with nothing really changed apart from the new zoomed in eye stalk on the second Dalek. The dome is painted silver and features two dome lights which have been moulded to have a frosty look. The eye protrudes from the dome which is painted silver with the eye rings in light blue, the end in black and the white for the iris. The other eye is identical aside from the iris being painted smaller to give the impression the Dalek is zooming in. The neck bin is black and features some fine texture detailing with the neck collars painted silver. The shoulder section is painted light grey with the silver shoulder bands going around the Dalek. The back of the shoulder section has a black line which is how they numbered the original real life Dalek props so some very nice accurate detailing. The plunger and exterminator are painted silver with the end of the plunger in black. The exterminator features some excellent detailing with indents to represent the hexagonal discs and the gun rods. The skirt is painted in silver with light blue for the hemispheres. The fender is painted in black and the bottom features three wheels and lots of legal gobbledygook. Turning to articulation, the Daleks can turn their head 360 degrees, the eye can go up 90 degrees, the weaponry are on ball joints allowing you to move them in any way you want, and finally the Dalek can roll along due to the wheels underneath. In the comparison between the old and new releases, you can see they are mostly identical, but the new ones feature slightly darker hemispheres and the numbering lines. In the size comparison, you can see it looks really nice when put with other figures and other Daleks in the 5 inch range. So overall, what do I think to this set? Although not featuring much in the way of detail or features, it's a really nice set. The previous versions of these Daleks are very difficult to get these days, with one being in the Dalek Collector Set 1 and the other being in SFX Dalek. They've made these Daleks a lot easier to get, which is great. Or they would be if not given to B&M, where people have constantly struggled to get the sets, as there are constant scalpers that buy the lot and sell them for ridiculous prices. So that concludes this review. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy Doctor Who content, then also subscribe to not miss any more figure reviews, as well as the Doctor Who fan series that is currently in production. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, goodbye.